somebody had an idea that was a little different or off the wall. But it was more than that. You know, it, it taught me, it gave me greater appreciation understanding and i say this rhetorically for the present moment what kind of a world would you have this is an incredible moment and the beauty of it is that even though it kind of need only take about 10 minutes a day it impacts our entire life <laughs> Simply doing nothing. But there will be collateral effects. Interesting. You know, the mind whizzes away, like a washing machine going round and round, not the typical confusing emotions. And we don't really kind of know how to deal. I don't have enough and it's not fair because you've got too much and somebody should do something about it. It sounds so ordinary and yet we spend so little time in the present moment that it's anything but ordinary. Important, you know, for people that appreciate that this is just breathing. But most people don't actually know that. Not even sitting there reminiscing about the past or planning for the future. Right. Because it gives us a measure of control. Living in time which is not here. Living in an elsewhere which is not concretely real. Wandering, wandering, and coming back to the meditation object. Toronto Vortex. Great decision. The true reality in which he lives is the present moment now. For example, that's true. <laughs> promise of reality. That's really important. I think the present moment is so underrated. Ease in the body, space in the mind. Here one may enjoy complete privacy throughout the journey. Because most people assume the meditation is all about sort of stopping thoughts, getting rid of emotions, somehow controlling the mind. But actually it's quite different from that. If somebody had an idea that was a little different or off the wall. It's more about sort of stepping back, sort of seeing thought clearly, witnessing it coming and going, emotions coming and going without judgment, but with a relaxed, focused mind.